Hi, my name is Holly Siebold, and this is my pitch. Four million preteen and teenage girls missed school this year because they did not have access to pads or tampons. That's 21,000 girls today alone that did not go to school because of their period. Um, and I, I don't need to tell you how important an education is. We all know that, right? It literally can shift the trajectory of a child's life. It's the most valuable tool in the world. It's so critical that our country literally invests millions into educational, uh, invests millions into school, school systems throughout the country each year to purchase school supplies, uh, technology, and books. But sadly, the one thing left off and does not make the cut are menstrual supplies. Um, this is very unfortunate <laughs> because uh, it's been proven that if you provide students pads and tampons, you will see a increase in attendance and academic performance. I know this to be true because my organization, Bras, has delivered thousands of pads and tampons to students in schools with high truancy rates over the last four years. And the feedback that we receive is positive. Girls feel more confident. They're achieving more. They feel empowered. These are the results that we want to see. So, if we know this to be a problem, why are our schools not working on it? Well, perhaps it's because they don't see the extent of it as a problem. Girls don't want to necessarily speak about it. Um, and so, therefore, it doesn't make a line item on a, in a school budget. Or perhaps it's because it's just so darn uncomfortable to talk about. <laughs> um, kind of like a lot of you are feeling right about now. <laughs> um, so if you feel uncomfortable, which I'm, I'm sure some of you, if I asked you to raise your hands, you would, can you imagine how a sixth grade student in the back of a science class is feeling as she's bleeding through her pants, wondering how she's going to make it through the rest of the day? I imagine a world where pads and tampons are in every bathroom in every single school, just like soap, paper towels, and toilet paper. So here's my call to action for you all tonight. I want you to work with your schools and make them recognize that uh, this is a problem that exists in our own community and it's something that can be fixed and it's within reach. Is that, sorry, is that, is that my time? Time. Okay. <laughs>